So, hello and welcome here again to a new video. And today we're going to talk about the airdrop of the broker protocol. Obviously, that is going to happen in a few days, but what's important, the token will be live in a few hours. Obviously, depending on when you watch the video, maybe it's already tradable. But if not done, you know, it is going live on the 11th of this month, so tomorrow. And without further ado, obviously, if that sounds interesting, I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot. Also make sure to join the Discord as well as Telegram, link for those in the description down below. And let's have a look at what is going to happen over here. Here's the website of Broker where you hopefully already have put your wallet address for MetaMask in and where you already could select an unstaking period. We already have our broker unstaked in 14 days so we took the shortest amount of time possible to get our token the fastest as possible simply because we already had the token uh, on tower and now we receive them again on a different blockchain this time it is avax and you just need to connect your metamask have a bit of avax in your wallet unstake them and then obviously after the unstaking period you need to come here and claim or even go ahead and weed stake because if you want to weed stake that will give you obviously more returns the longer you choose the longer the yeah obviously the higher the returns will be because of the token called B Pro, and that is basically a token you hold in your wallet the whole time which you cannot sell uh, which is just like a boost that you get for holding in your wallet for example if we stake our 11k bro token and we have 1000 people then we already get a certain percentage more than we would if we didn't have the bro token and obviously we don't know the exact numbers yet because the token price is not tradable but knowing that they already did perform decent on tower uh, it's very good seeing that they uh, choose to actually put the liquidity first instead of you have the tokens then they put the liquidity because then people could just dump the token and I already saw a lot of people actually go, uh, went ahead and choose the staking period of a year which also is good I obviously keep them uh, in my wallet and see what happens at the beginning maybe I'm going to sell some and stake half or we even sell all of them to move over to Juno and uh, that's really up to how the token will evolve in the next few days before we receive them and yeah hopefully now you know what you can do with your token obviously um, you already see it gives you more returns with Bibo and that's exactly what I meant oh, I actually didn't see that it is over here but also you have the investment uh, portfolio where you can buy stable coins Obviously, that is not something that I'm actually interested in. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do that, obviously, you can go ahead and also have a look at that side as well. Obviously, with the airdrop of Broker coming, we have MintDAO and also GameSwift on the weather, which are going to do an airdrop this year, accordingly to their roadmap. And for MintDAO, we already see a lot of changes when you go onto their website and you even have a free mint regarding the Juno network and already minted mine uh, if we go over here this is the maximum uh, lot of tokens that you can limit uh, that you can mint and that is currently one and yeah it is public and it will end in five days and 15 minutes so go ahead purchase one but let's say uh, yeah get one and you can also see that they did some changes to their website which I actually like uh, you can see what they raised uh, that's very important because of the funds how they will be uh, yeah, deployed you already can see how that will be um, you need to have that avatar you give them your mint token and you will get your SDC token uh, which is a very good thing in my humble opinion uh, and yeah that obviously takes some time for them to go live but yeah it's one of the most exciting projects i think in the future as well as gameswift they also did some changes on their website and still if you look over here on their roadmap 
you can see that they have planned to go with the chain testnet live soon and maybe even in quarter four this year with the mainnet and obviously if the mainnet would go live that would be huge you already see microsoft partnerships so that's already very nice seeing for the next year they already have a lot of stuff planned as well and most likely are going to update that also in the near future so if you had any tokens make sure to join the discord of them and also the telegram groups of game fifth and mint down because it's very important to be up to date with your funds maybe you need to perform any action i don't know supply some sort of wallet at some point if you didn't do that already and if you are in those channels they can help you out most likely and yeah that's pretty much it regarding the airdrop sector um, because they will most likely come this year and that will be huge if they come out uh, mint was one of the best performing on the tower ecosystem as well as um, star tower even though star tower did dump in price a lot that was mainly because people were up so much during the pre-sale because it was at five cents and then it shoot up to like five bucks and if that's going to happen with the new token, then I highly respect the team and I'm really thankful for holding a lot of the tower. Um, but yeah, moving over onto Juno. We are still in profit almost 2%, even though prices continue to go down for Juno and Atom. Uh, we have five bucks in liquidity rewards and currently $1.81 that we earn on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's already not bad. Uh, but yeah, looking at the all pools, uh, at, the, at the all pools and all the other pools, we still can see that the Juno War has one of the highest APRs consistent. Obviously, the SE Juno and Atom had a bit higher percentage in the start, but now also came down a bit. Same as for SE, SE and Juno. Uh, 148 which also not bad at all but you will get a different token which is the easy token instead of Juno uh, and yeah I'm actually focusing on getting Juno obviously you could sell the rewards for Juno but just getting the Juno is already more easy because then you don't need to look at the price of the token but yeah that's pretty much it no we actually forgot Ping P Ping P we are sitting now at our goal of 30k stake so looking over, we see that we got currently 385 P as claimable rewards at a 277% APR, which is also not bad regarding uh, yeah, how long we already are here. Um, the percentage also stays somewhat stable. Looking at the vaults already, uh, seeing that they have declined over time, but yeah, that's just because crypto did decline as well. Uh, but yeah, total yield 53k, which is very impressive on 287k. So yeah, pretty much looking good for Ping P as well as for Juno. Hopefully we see crypto uh, do recover. But at the moment it doesn't look like Ethereum, uh, Ethereum, yeah. Bitcoin seems to continue to go down since the last four hours. Basically at 20k it plummeted down. But yeah, it looks interesting to be honest uh, what will happen. Simply because it is a long sideways trading already that we ha are in, and I don't really consider the push to 22k a breakout because it didn't last. <laughs> but yeah, nevertheless, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and until tomorrow, bye bye.